Hey guys, it's Kara here at Butter Booze. We are going to go over the Star Trivet Centerpiece or, I mean, sorry, Star Trivet or Centerpiece. Um, you can see here that they are different sizes. The pattern um, can easily be changed to make it larger or smaller. This one here, I have one, two, three, four rows, or four rounds rather, plus the single crochet um, edging. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six in this single crochet edging. And this one is a bunch. I think it's like 18 or something like that. Um, but you can adjust it however you want. Um, <clears throat> you can also use, I'm using a worsted uh, Lion Brand 24-7 cotton for this, or this one is a, um, which I made the red one with, it is the Cotton Blend, which is a polyester cotton um, Lion Brand. I love Lion Brand yarns. They're great. So I'm going to move this over here. And here we have our, let me turn this light on. That might help. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we have our pattern here. So the first thing is we need to look at the terminology. So here you have your terminology, and it tells you um, CH is chain, SL, ST is slip stitch, DC is double crochet, ST is stitches, repeat, which means you repeat what's in between the asterisks, and then you have your chain two space. Now, this does not mean to chain two. This is the space that a chain two creates. So you'll get a little space in your work, which is your chain two space. So what I suggest doing is grab a highlighter or something, a marker, and highlight in your pattern your repeats and maybe your chain two spaces uh, just so that you can keep track of the chain two space. Keep it different. Maybe color it something different. For this, I'm using a five millimeter hook, which is an H hook. Um, I have a worsted weight yarn and DK weight. You can do this pattern with lace weight yarn and maybe like a two or 2.75 hook um, to make little bitty stars. Um, it'll work with that. You can adjust it if you wanted to use real bulky yarn. Um, you would just up your hook size from a five millimeter to maybe like a six or a six and a half and use that. Um, using the worsted weight or DK weight, you would approximately use about 50 grams more or less just depending on how large you're wanting your work. Um, you can easily adjust this pattern to the size that you want. Once you get to a certain point, it's basically just repeating itself, um, and we'll see that here. Um, so first off, the pattern states to start with the chain three, join with the slip stitch to form a ring into that first chain, or start with a magic loop. So um, I prefer to do a magic loop. You can start with a chain three either one. I'll show you both ways really quick. Let's back out of this. So a chain three, you'd simply get your little slip knot on here. You would chain three, one, two, three, and you have your three stitches. And then you would slip stitch into this first chain that you made. This creates a circle. A slip stitch, you just put your hook through there, yarn over, and then pull through both the stitch you pushed through and then the loop on your hook. So then that creates a slip stitch. And then you have, you have to pull it apart because it's only three, but you have a little circle right there. Um, and that's what that circle that it creates that is what you would work into 
So if you were to continue on, the pattern says to chain five, so you would chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then it says to do two double crochets and chain two. So you would work that first double crochet and every other double crochet into that center there. And um, just continue with the pattern like that. Hold on one second. Okay, but I prefer to do a magic loop. So a magic loop creates a nice, pretty, um, closed circle, whereas a chain three, you're going to have a hole in the center of your work, which sometimes you prefer that, and sometimes you don't. I think that a chain three in the hole in the center of this would look just fine, um, but if you were doing like a hat or something like that from top and down, you would want to make sure that you did not have a hole. So a magic loop is important to learn. So what I like to do is use my pinky finger and my ring finger to hold the yarn, my tail end, so my tail ends right here, okay? And then I use my two fingers, my index finger and my middle finger. So I'm holding my yarn, tail end with these two over here. I'm going to wrap the yarn from under to over and then back over into the back. So that's right here. Then you take your hook, you go under that first loop, grab that second strand, come up, which creates kind of a little loop there. And then you have this yarn right here that's hanging, which is your working yarn. So you're gonna grab, kind of yarn over, grab that, and then pull it through that loop there. Now, you have a loop, and it's okay if it's loose. You just pull it down, snug it tight, and then it's secure on your loop. So everything that you're going to do from this point forward um, in round one, you're going to be working inside of this loop here. Um, so now, and if you don't like it this large, you can use your tail end here, just kind of pull it down a little bit, um, and you work into this loop. Don't worry about this tail, just kind of work over that because you'll have two strands here. Just work over that as it's one and it kind of secures that tail end down so you won't really have too much to weave in later on. And personally when I'm doing this I kind of like to put my, my middle and my ring finger inside the loop and just kind of I guess push it outwards like this. Um, and it kind of keeps that open while I'm working on my, my, my project. So the pattern states to join, uh, start with the chain three, join with the slip stitch to form a ring or start with the magic loop. So we've gotten to that part. Now it says to chain five. Okay. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this chain five counts as our first double crochet and chain two. And that is the same way throughout the project. So always remember that, that count, this chain five here counts as the first stitch. Now the pattern says to do two double crochets, chain two, then repeat from that asterisk three more times. So we'll do, um, two double crochets, one, two, okay, chain two, then it wants us to do the two double crochet chain two three more times. So remember, we're working into the center loop here, this big old loop. So to double crochet, yarn over, Go into your center, yarn over, pull up where you have the three loops, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. And we'll do that again. Okay, now we have that two double crochets, chain two. So that's one of the three repeats. So we have to do two more repeats of the 
um, two, double, two double crochet chain two. So here's two, and this is one. So here's two, and here's our last one with our two double crochets and our chain two. Then, after you've done that, the pattern says to double crochet. So you just add another double crochet in there. Cinch your yarn down, so or use that tail end, pull it tight, and uh, it brings your yarn back together. Now the pattern says to join into the third chain of the beginning chain five to join the round. So you count your stitches here, one, two, three. So you go in about here. If you can't count them, it's okay. Just try to get near the top while leaving a little gap there, you know. Um, it doesn't have to be precise, really, for this. Now, um, round two says to slip stitch into the chain two space. So, yes, you slip stitched into that chain five, but this, this space here is now your chain two space. So, you go into that chain two space, yarn over, pull that yarn up, and then pull that through there to do a slip stitch. Now you will chain five, which again counts as your first stitch plus your chain two. So now it says to do three double crochet in the same chain two space. So what that's saying is we're going to work three double crochets into this same space that we just chained five at. So we'll do one, two, three. Okay. Now you see the brackets and the asterisks, and it says um, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in the next chain two space. So we did it here. Now we have our four or our one double crochet, two chain space, three double crochets. Now it's wanting us to do three double crochets into this next chain two, three double crochets into this next chain two space. You can tell that it's a chain two space because there's a little hole here. And between each chain two spaces, you will have two full double crochets here. So you can kind of break that apart and see that um, at this point, after row one, your work should look like a pentagon. So we'll um, work into this next chain two space by doing three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and working back into that same space, we will do three more double crochets. This is creating your corners here. Okay? And it says, remember it said to repeat the what's in the brackets three more times. So we did it once. Now we'll do it again moving on to the next chain space, chain two space by doing three double crochets, two chains, three double crochets into that same chain two space. So you should have a total of six stitches worked into each of those chain two spaces. So now move on to the next chain two space right there. Chain or double crochet three. Chain two. Double crochet three. Okay. So that's one, two, three times that we did it. 
Well, that, yeah. Oh my gosh, my cat's back here. Going crazy. So we will work it into this final three. One, two, one. Two, three, okay. So we've got all of our repeats complete after that. And then it says to do two double crochets in the next chain two space. Now, right here, this is your chain, your next chain two space. Yeah, this is where you began, okay? Now remember what I said about needing to have six stitches, six double crochets into each chain two space. And also remember that this chain five here acts as your first double crochet plus your chain two. So right here you have one, two, three, four. So you're adding two more double crochets which is right here, two double crochets in next chain two space. So this is your next chain two space and that will give you those two extra double crochets there will give you a total of six double crochets into your last or even your first chain space and then you join to the third um, chain of that chain five with a slip stitch so this is what your work should look like after round two Okay, so now we are on round number three. It says to slip stitch into the chain two space. So right here we will do our slip stitch. Okay, which I've already done. So then it says to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Which remember it counts as your first double crochet plus your chain two. So then it says three double crochets into the same chain two space. So one, two, three. And then it says double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So that means that you will go into this stitch here and this stitch here. It also from there says to skip the next two stitches, double crochet in each of the next two. Okay, so that means you're going to double crochet in this one, double crochet in this one, skip this one, skip this one, double crochet, double crochet. When you're looking at this, know that you're crocheting in the end stitches here, in your end groups, but those two center stitches are going to be your skipped stitches. And this just repeats your outer um, double crochets. They increase as you go by the rounds, but you will always skip these two center double crochets. So we did our chain, our three, now we're going to work the two doubles. One, two, now, you know you're in the wrong place if you're not skipping these two stitches. But right here, we've now gotten to this one, two. We will work into the next three, four. And then we have come back to the point where it says three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets in the next chain two space repeat from here to here three more times so from here down to here three more times so we'll do this the three doubles chain two three doubles in that same stitch Okay, 
and then you, so we're right here then since it says to repeat from the star three more times you go back up to here to the double crochet in each of the next I'm sorry round, round three but same thing uh, double crochet in each of the next two stitches skip two and then we just repeat so we double crochet into the next two stitches skip two double crochet in the next two three doubles chain two three doubles in that chain two space And this just keeps repeating all the way around until you have reached that final space. Now, if you have trouble getting into this first double crochet here, because you have to kind of pull your work over and then you'll work into that stitch there, not this stitch, this stitch. Um, you can always throw that first double crochet into your chain two space if need be. It's not gonna hurt it, it's not gonna look funny, It's it will be fine. So we double crochet two, skip two, double crochet two. And then we're back at our chain two space which we put our six total double crochets in. But remember, between those three bunches to do your chain two. And then we double crochet in the next two stitches. One double crochet in the next two, okay. Skip two, one double crochet in the next two. And then we do our three, chain two, three. Three doubles, chain two, three doubles into that chain. Okay, and also, like if you get lost and you're trying to figure out how many stitches you did, just look at your post. Double crochets are really easy to tell. Here you have one, two, and three stitches. Then you chain two, and you go right back into that chain two space. Okay. Now we make our way to this other side by double crocheting in the next two. Okay. Skip one, two, double crochet in the next two. One, two. Now that brings you back around to your chain five. Remember your chain five is your first double crochet plus your chain two space. So you have the one, one, two, three, four. Remember in a chain two space you want six total stitches. So you have four stitches. Then in the end of round two, three here, it says two double crochets in the next chain two space. So this counts as your next chain two space. Even though there's already stitches worked into it, that's what it's meaning is crochet it right into that first chain two space that you've already worked your stitches into. You'll kind of work over that little chain five bottom base a little bit, but that's okay. And then you just slip stitch into the third chain from that chain five. So that gives you your little star here. And you will just continue all the way around by slip stitching into that chain two space, chain five, chain or double crochet three 
This is round four. Then it says to um, three double crochets, double crochet in each of the next four stitches, skip two stitches, double crochet into the next four stitches. So that's worked exactly like um, round three was, except for you're, you're adding stitches. So we double crochet into this first stitch here second stitch, third stitch, fourth stitch, skip, one, two. Now remember, you're skipping these two middle ones. That's how you know that you're in the right spot. So then you go into that one there and do four on this side until you get to your chain two space, what you will do, three doubles, chain two, three doubles. And then you will do that all the way around until you have reached your chain five. Okay, so now we're getting back to the point where we're chain five is right here. We have one, two, three, four stitches. Okay, and now round four says to two do two double crochet two double crochets in the next chain two space. So. That's what you're going to do to make sure that you have the six total stitches in your point. So two double crochets into your next chain two space and then you simply slip stitch into that third chain there and then you would move on to round five. So at this point, this is what your work should look like. And we just increase. So round five, you would work exactly as you've worked um, the previous rows, except for now you would have six stitches that you double crochet in between your points. Well, actually a total of 12, but six on this side, skip two, six on this side, do your three, two, three, six double crochets, skip two, which would be these two, six double crochets, three, two, three, and all the way around, making sure that once you get back to that chain five space that you are putting in those two double crochets that are listed here in the pattern.